Crusader Caravans has launched a whole new lineup of caravans. It's called the CRV range and it contains three separate models. You've got the Top End Hurricane, the Mid Spec Gladiator, and then you've got this caravan that I'm inside at the moment. This is the entry level Esperance and it is definitely one for you to check out. Now looking around the Esperance, it appears to be really well made. There's no frame here, it's all put together with composite material, so it's strong and it's lightweight. In fact, behind my MUX, it's been an absolute pleasure to tow. The Esperance that I'm standing in at the moment is a pre-production model. Now, future versions of this van are going to have some changes. This particular model rides quite low, but production vans are gonna sit two inches higher, and those tail lights on the rear bumper are going to be moved to the body of the van itself. There will be a few other small changes, but they're the main ones. While the Gladiator and the Hurricane CRVs are on an off-road caravan, the Esperance is very much all about the blacktop touring and staying in caravan parks. Now to that end, Crusader only fits a 62 litre water tank to this van, but it comes standard with a 12 volt compressor fridge because after all, if you're staying in the caravan parks, you're gonna be running it on the mains and constantly charging your battery. So honestly, that's a great idea. Speaking of electrics, this caravan comes as standard with a 105 amp hour deep cycle battery and a 190 watt solar panel that's mounted to the roof. Outside, there's a couple of nine kilo gas cylinders on the drawbar. For external storage, you've got a reasonably sized full tunnel boot and the van rides on torsion beam suspension rated to 1800 kilos. Now, obviously this is a compact caravan, but honestly, that is part of the appeal. It's designed for two people. You've got two single beds in this layout as standard. However, if you want to, you can join these mattresses together to form one queen size bed. Now, when I arrived at Crusader to pick this van up, when I stepped inside, I did not expect to see a bathroom. However, they've managed to fit one, and to be honest, I'm pretty impressed. You know what this van reminds me of? Like a really small studio apartment or a tiny house on wheels. And it's got everything that you're gonna need to be comfortable. You've got that bathroom, you've got a little kitchen with a four burner cooktop and a griller. They include a TV and frankly, a surprising amount of storage. These overhead lockers are really quite large and deep. And you've also got a really large cupboard on the near side along with a number of drawers. Inside, you've also got a reverse cycle air conditioner and of course, that large skylight up the front. I don't feel as though I'm missing anything when I step inside this caravan. The beds are comfortable. I've got all my creature comforts. Everything's nice and conveniently located. So I think this Esperance is actually a bit of a winner. You know, when my kids have all grown up and it's just my wife and I, this is the kind of van that I think I'd like to get. It's small and compact, it's easy to tow, so it's going to be good on the fuel, and the Esperance, or maybe the Gladiator or the Hurricane, could be the one.